Greetings viewers, today I have another microwave oven transformer video. This is done uh, plenty of times before on YouTube, but I just thought I would try it, testing what the actual output of a microwave oven transformer is. There's a microwave oven transformer in there. No fake news going on there. Put on a spark app, which is about good for 2 kV. I already powered it up. And I actually get a surge when I turn the transformer off, a little spark jumps there. That's about a 2 kV spark gap. Now a 20 kV spark gap, I put about, you know, 2 inches apart. But, so, for a size comparison, <laughs> there's a bushing that works perfectly fine on 2,000 volts. And here's a 20,000 volt bushing. And of course, they uh, yeah, wrote the address or where I live on the transformer when they shipped it, but that's fine. So, did a calculation beforehand, and that's an 83 to 1 ratio, 19920, divided by 240, which this transformer is rated for 19920 on the 19920 tap. So, we're going to be stuffing the output of this microwave oven transformer into this transformer here. And uh, just a neat uh, tip, um, if I were to short out these low voltage bushings while this was receiving power from the 2000 volts or so microwave oven transformer, it would actually put this transformer on a 200% overload because this transformer, the core in this transformer is rated for 19920 volts at about 500 milliamps. And this transformer on short circuit puts out about one amp at 200 or 2,000 volts. So it would be overloading it by its double current ratio on the high voltage side. This transformer on short circuit, though, I don't know the impedance offhand. I'd have to redo the calculations, but I believe it's around 50 amps at 19,920 volts. considerably larger than a microwave oven transformer. But what I'm going to do now is just power the circuit up and see what happens. I can get the uh, plug in the socket. There we go. I'm going to have to watch out because that there wire now is live at 1900 volts. You can see we're getting actually a perfect 24. Let's see if we can dial down the scale here without getting too close. And we are getting 23.9, 23.95. volt output. So if you just unplug for safety. That was 23.95 times 83. You can see we're getting 1987 volts out of this transformer. So there is more than 10 times the voltage that comes out of this transformer. Now what I should do is reverse the circuit and see what happens when I put 10 times the voltage back into the li this little transformer. See if that little spark gap there protects it. That's about it for this video. Catch you in the next one.